Celebrities and politicians are also voicing their opinions about this political football, so to speak. Lori Perez has a look at Hollywood's take on the pregame protests. Lori. Elsa and Peter, celebrities have long used their fame to advocate for causes. And again, in the last few days, stars have not been shy about taking a stance. You guys know what we need freedom for. Pharrell Williams took a knee before a concert honoring the victims of violence in Charlottesville Sunday. That's what that flag is for. Hashtag Hong Kong. Comedian George Lopez Instagrammed his support for athletes linking arms, a sentiment echoed by actress Zendaya, who posted, Take the Knee, Solidarity, and mirrored by Ellen, who wrote, As a football fan, I'm proud of the NFL players today. Nothing is more American than the right to peacefully protest. Packers QB Aaron Rodgers posted this photo showing him kneeling with teammates on the field. And 87 year old Ed Asner weighed in, adding some levity by tweeting, I am taking a knee on Sunday. I might need someone to help me up. On the round of Sunday morning talk shows, usually reserved for politicos like minority leader Nancy Pelosi. Let's not, uh, not, not have the president of the United States do anything but bring people together. Sports hosts like NFL Today's James Brown analyze the president's off-field performance. Engaging in vulgar, profane references to a group of young professionals who have been peacefully uh, exhibiting their First Amendment rights is not the way to engage in civil discourse. The next wave of opinions might come from the business world. Sprinkles Bakery getting lots of reaction, and not all of it positive, after tweeting this cupcake commentary, hashtag take the knee. It remains to be seen what kind of effects good or bad businesses and celebrities might see for being so vocal about such a heated topic. Back to you.